Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome back. So, this is uh, lecture number 51 and uh, we will now continue with a new topic now on differential equations. So, today's lecture will be devoted to the introduction and the formation of uh, differential equations. So, what is the differential equations? So, an equation which involves the derivatives or the differentials of one or more uh, independent variables with respect to one or more independent variables is called differential equation. So, here these are the examples of the differential equation. So, we have these derivative terms involving in these equations and uh, therefore, we call uh, this equation as the differential equation and this is uh, the ordinary differential equation because these derivatives are ordinary meaning this we have only one. Uh, independent variable as x in this case y is a dependent variable on on x. So, we have the ordinary derivatives here. The second equation this is also the ordinary differential equation. So, we have these differential terms here d x d y and this is uh, uh, also having these ordinary derivatives only. So, only one dependent variable that is y and uh, one independent variable that is x. So, for instance, here we have two independent variables the x and t and this v depends on uh, two variables here x and t. So, here we have the notion of the partial derivatives in the equation and therefore, this is called a partial differential equation or PDE uh, because here we have the partial derivatives not the ordinary, but we have the uh, partial derivatives now in the equation. So, there are other uh, classifications here which uh, we call the order what is the order of the uh, differential equation and order is nothing but the order of the highest uh, order derivatives involved. So, for example, in this first equation the higher uh, highest order derivative is 4. So, the order of this equation will be 4 similarly we will be talking about the order of these two equations. There is another terminology we will be using here degree and degree here in these equations will be the degree of again the highest order derivatives involved. For instance, in this case this is the higher order derivative and the power here is 1 or, or the degree of this term is 1. So, this is the first degree, but uh, the fourth order differential equation. So, here the order is 4 and the degree is 1. Uh, in this equation again the order is 1 because we have the highest order is the first order like d y d x term will be present here nothing else or the first order differentials are present in this case and the degree is also also 1. And in this case here the order is 3. So, because third order derivative terms are there and the degree is 2 because the highest order uh, derivative appears in degree 2. So, the degree of this differential equation is 2 and the order is is 3. The further classifications uh, will be talking about like uh, the linear and nonlinear differential equations. So, here we a differential equation is called linear if uh, every dependent variable and every derivative occurs in the first degree only. So, if we do not see the product or the power then uh, we have uh, the linear term meaning the no product of the dependent variable and or the derivatives occur. So, then we have uh, the linear equation and if the differential equation is not linear then we call the nonlinear equation. So, in the nonlinear one the product of the derivative or the dependent variable with the derivative uh, will exist. So, every linear equation is of first degree that is clear. Uh, so, uh, 
because the in, in linear equation there will be no product or no power. So, it will be first degree, but every first uh, degree uh, equation may not be linear because for instance here this is the second order equation and the degree is 1 here because the degree is defined as this highest uh, the degree of the highest order term, but this equation is nonlinear because of this product y and the dy over dx. So, this is a nonlinear equation and it is a first degree, but it is a nonlinear. So, every linear equation is of first degree, but not every first degree equation uh, will be uh, linear. Now, coming to the solution of the differential equation. So, any relation between the dependent and independent variable without uh, the derivative terms, because in the solution we do not want to see the derivatives, the derivatives will be in the equation uh, in the differential equation. So, any relation between this dependent and independent variable which uh, satisfies the differential equation is called a solution or the integral of the differential equation. So, for instance, we take this function, this relation between y and x with these two arbitrary constants, what we can check that this is a solution of this differential equation y double prime 2 over y and the y 2 over x and y prime equal to 0. Why this is the solution? Because this uh, relation satisfies this differential equation which we can easily verify because if we take the derivative here of this y we will get minus a over x square and because we have the second derivative as well in the equation. So, we will go for the second order derivative here. So, y second order derivative will be minus 2 a. So, again this minus minus will be plus here. So, 2 a over x cube that is the second order derivative and if we substitute uh, this here in the equation. So, the, the first uh, the second here. So, we have the 2 a over over this x cube and then plus this 2 over x and the first order term here that is minus a over x square. So, what do we see here 2 a over x cube and here also 2 a over x cube. So, that will cancel out and uh, we will get the 0 which is the right hand side of the equation. So, what we have observed that this relation this given relation y is equal to a over x plus b is the solution of this differential equation, because uh, this relation satisfies this differential equation. And uh, uh, now, we will we are going to the direction of the formation of these differential equation. So, before that we need to introduce this uh, family of curves. So, an n parameter a family of curves is a set uh, of relations of the form this one. So, here the x y there is a relation in x y which is defined by this equation f x y uh, c 1 c 2 c n these are the n parameters here equal to 0. So, changing these parameters we will get different different uh, curves here that is what it is a family of the curves because different values of these c's we have a different curve and the examples here the first uh, the set of this concentric circles if we take that means x square plus y square is equal to c and c is a parameter. So, one uh, parameter family and the c takes a non negative real numbers because here x square plus y square. So, it has to be positive. So, this uh, or non negative. So, the c has to be non negative. So, it is taking non negative real values and for different different values of c these uh, are the equations of the circle of the same center. So, here it is a family where we have only one parameter that is c and if we keep on changing the c we are getting the circles here uh, with center same and uh, different radius. Again the set of the circles if we take here here now we are also varying with the with the center and as well as the radius. So, this is the, the set of the all, all circles here we can choose the c 1 c 2 and the c 3. So, c 1 c 2 any real number and the c 3 is a positive or non negative uh, real number. So, in that case this is a family of these three parameters uh, c 1 c 2 c 3. Uh, while the earlier one was the family of one parameter uh, because 
the only the radius was varying in that case here we have a different centers and different radius of the uh, of these circles of this family of circle. So, this is a three uh, parameter family uh, of circles and now what we also observe that uh, the solution of the differential equation which we have also seen in the previous example. Uh, it is a family of curves nothing else, but nothing else, but the family of curves which we will also observe in, in next uh, slides. So, how to uh, get the, how to do this form formation of the differential equation for given uh, n parameter family of curves. So, what we will see here if we have this n parameter family of curves meaning the solution of a differential equation then from this uh, given family of curves how to form the differential equation or the associated differential equation corresponding differential equation whose solution is this given family of curves. So, the from a given family of curves containing n arbitrary constants uh, we can obtain uh, n th order differential equation whose solution is the given family. So, the order of the differential equation will depend actually how many uh, parameter family we have uh, taken. So, here uh, how to get this actually. So, differentiate the given equation n times and we get n additional equations. Uh, there was a given n parameter family equation we differentiate keep on differentiating this family. So, we will get n more equations when we differentiate this n times and out of these n plus 1 total equations we will eliminate these uh, uh, constant terms or the parameters here and then we will get uh, equation which will contain only the derivatives terms and the dependent independent variables free from that uh, parameters. So, here by eliminating this from this n plus 1 uh, equations we will obtain a differential equation of uh, nth order. So, we will see with the help of the examples how this uh, works here the formation. So, we consider now this uh, example here. So, we uh, will obtain a differential equation which is uh, uh, satisfied by this relation x y is equal to a e power x and plus b e power minus x plus this x square. So, this is a two parameter family of curves. So, we have the a and b they are the arbitrary constants here a and b. So, we have this two parameter family of curves. So, out of this two parameter family of curves, we are expecting that it will be a corresponding differential equation will be a second order differential equation when we try to eliminate these two uh, constants uh, from the um, equations after taking the derivative of this uh, relation. So, here the given family of curves we have the x y is equal to a e power x plus b e power minus x plus x square and if we differentiate this with respect to x what we get. So, we will get uh, x uh, y derivative plus the y here and the derivative of x 1. So, that is x y prime plus y that is the derivative of this x y term. So, the product rule applies. Now, the derivative of a e power x that is a e power x and then here b e power minus x will be minus um, b e power minus x that is here and the derivative of this x square that is 2 x. So, we have differentiated this with respect to x only once and now we have to differentiate this once again because we do see here two arbitrary constants in the equation. So, if we differentiate once again what we will get out of this x and y double prime and we will get just y prime. Here also we will get y prime. So, that is 2 y prime and here a e power x that will remain as it is here the minus minus will become plus. So, we have plus b power minus x and then we have uh, this 2 there. So, now we have already differentiated this 2 times and now we want to eliminate these uh, constant. So, what do we see here that a e power x and plus this b e power minus x that is also there in this uh, given relation. So, if we substitute for example, from here if we substitute this a e power x plus b e power minus x and put it here in this equation then 
these co this constant terms will be removed and we will get an equation which contains the derivative terms dependent variables and independent variables. So, here this using this equation which uh, we call as, as equation number 1. So, what we, do we get now? We will get this x y uh, double prime and 2 uh, y prime is equal to. So, this is replaced by x y minus x square. So, here x y minus x square term and this plus 2. So, now we got this differential equation here which corresponds to this uh, family of uh, curves with two parameters or in other words the solution of this differential equation is nothing but this given family of uh, uh, two parameter family of curves. So, that is the how the formation works of this uh, differential equations from a given family of, of curves and mainly in this uh, lectures uh, upcoming lectures you will see actually how to find this, this such this, uh, from this uh, given differential equation how to get this family of curves. So, we have uh, the other concept of the general and the particular solution. So, uh, let this is the nth order differential equation. So, here we have this nth order derivatives and uh, other lower order derivatives also this dependent variable x and y. So, it is a relation meaning it is a differential equation the nth order differential equation. So, what do we call uh, as the general solution? It is a solution containing n independent arbitrary constants. So, in the general solution also in the previous slide what we have observed we started with the two parameter family of curves and then corresponding differential equation was second order differential equation or other way around whenever we have a second order differential equation and we find the solution of this equation or rather to say the general solution of this differential equation it will have a uh, two uh, arbitrary constants or two parameters in the solution. So, here that is exactly the definition of the general solution the solution containing n independent arbitrary constant. So, any solution of this differential equation of a given differential equation and if it has n independent arbitrary constants corresponding to this such nth order ordinary differential equation then we call this solution as general solution. Another one what we are talking about the particular solution. So, giving some values uh, to these coefficients that may depend on some other supplementary conditions may be given along with the differential equation. So, based on the other information if we can evaluate these coefficients because this is a a general solution is is nothing but the family of the curves uh, of this n uh, parameter. So, but having a particular solutions means a particular curve. So, that is possible only when some other supplementary conditions are supplied with the differential equation and then as a differential equation together with these supplementary conditions we will get a particular solutions. So, here the particular solution means the solution giving particular values to one or more of the independent constants. So, usually that is done from the from the uh, physical model that some extra conditions are given based on the physics of the problem and then we can compute actually some or all of the uh, uh, these constants and the solution here now does not have any independent arbitrary constant. So, which call which we call as the particular solution. And as uh, we discussed already that the number of arbitrary constants in a solution of a differential equation depends on the order of the differential equation. And indeed uh, we have seen at least through the examples that a general solution of nth order will contain n arbitrary constants. Okay, so, here now let us just go through the examples. So, here we have for instance this differential equation d y over d x whole square and minus this 4 times y is equal to 0. It is a general solution. So, we are not uh, finding the techniques or, or using any techniques to find the solution that will be discussed in the next lecture. Here we are just providing the definitions. So, for example, this y is equal to x minus c whole square. So, this is a solution uh, 
this will satisfy this differential equation. So, if we get here uh, this d y over d x for instance, it will be 2 times x minus c and if we substitute now in this differential equation what will happen 2 times this x minus c uh, whole square and minus this 4 times this y that is x minus c whole square. And here also we have 4 x minus c whole square there are also 4 times this x minus c whole square. So, this will cancel out and what we observe that this uh, solution here which uh, is satisfy uh, satisfies this differential equation and therefore, uh, this is a solution also this contains one this arbitrary constant this c for any value of c uh, this will satisfy the differential equation which we have observed. So, c is uh, an arbitrary constant and the order here was 1 the order of this differential equation was 1 and in the solution we have one arbitrary constant. So, therefore, we are calling it as the general solution. Particular solution. So, if we give any we assign any value to the c uh, we can assign directly also because for any value of c is a solution. So, for instance, if I call that y is equal to x square. So, y is equal to x square is also a solution of this differential equation and uh, by setting just this c to 0, but now this is a particular solution it is a parabola it is a fixed parabola, but here uh, that parabola depends on this parameter it was a family of the parabolas, but now we have a particular uh, curve out of uh, this family. So, we call this as a particular solution not the general solution this was the general solution. So, both are the solutions, but one is the general solution the other one is a particular solution or particular a curve out of this family of, of uh, one parameter curves. Another example which we can uh, look here. So, this is example number 2. So, here this uh, we consider this y y prime minus x uh, and y prime whole square is equal to 0. So, if we try to find I mean that the techniques we will discuss later on. So, this comes to be the general solution of this differential equation y is equal to c x plus 1 over c. So, here we have this one parameter family the c is the only parameter in this uh, in this equation. So, this is a one parameter family of course, and we one can easily verify that is also satisfied this differential equation for any value of this c. So, this is a general solution because the given differential equation was uh, the first order differential equation and we are getting this solution which is also having uh, one arbitrary constant. So, so, therefore, we call this as a general solution, but if we give any particular value to this constant then we are basically selecting one element of this family or one curve out of this family. So, that will be called as the particular solution. So, for instance in this case if we take the c is equal to 1. So, here we have taken the c is equal to 1 we have fixed the c is equal to 1 and in that case this y is equal to x plus 1 that will also satisfy the differential equation and uh, which can again one can easily see. So, the y is this x plus 1 and here y prime will be 1 and minus this x and then again y prime that is 1 whole square is equal to 1. So, what do we see the left hand side this x x get cancelled. So, 1 is equal to 1. So, this is naturally satisfying the differential equation because for any c that satisfies the differential equation, but now this y is equal to this x plus 1 that is a one 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 curve the one this is straight line out of this family of uh, of lines. Uh, we we got this as a particular solution. So, it is no more general solution uh, this is a particular solution of the given differential equation. There is another uh, uh, terminology used for defining the solution so called the explicit solution or we also call as a implicit solution. So, here the explicit solution uh, y is equal to y x when the solution is given in this form that y the dependent variable 
is given at the right hand side everything contains as the independent variable. So, there is no, no implicit relation of y and x is given, but rather we call this as an explicit relation of y in terms of x. So, we have y is given in terms of x no other uh, implicit relation. So, this is called the explicit solution. So, if we get out of our differential equation uh, the solution in this form that y is equal to uh, a function of x and then in case of the implicit solution we get uh, this uh, relation of the x and y uh, a, a relation here which uh, satisfies the given differential equation and therefore, uh, this is called the implicit uh, solution. So, for, for example, if we take this uh, differential equation, the second order differential equation y double prime plus k square y is equal to 0 and uh, we can observe now by substituting in fact at this point, because we are not going to discuss the solution techniques. This uh, is indeed a solution, because this will satisfy the given differential equation and uh, therefore, but what else we, we, we observe here but that this is the explicit solution, because this y is given in terms of the x the right hand side here is a function of x. So, this is uh, then an explicit solution is given y is, is, is stated in terms of the x. And now, uh, for the implicit solution so, this is the explicit solution and there is another example where x plus this 3 y y prime is equal to 0 is given a first order differential equation. And in this case what we observe that this x square plus 3 y square is equal to constant this satisfies this differential equation. So, if it satisfies the differential equation then this is a, a solution. So, which we can easily see. So, if we differentiate for example, this what relation we are getting 2 x plus 6 y and d y over d x is equal to 0. So, from here we can compute uh, in fact uh, or we just divide here by 2. So, we will get here x plus 3 y and y prime is equal to 0. So, naturally it is it, it, it's satisfying this differential equation. So, but what is uh, different here now from the earlier one here the function of this x y is given not the as an explicit relation of y in terms of x is given, but it is an implicit relation here given in, in terms of x and y. So, we call such solution as um, implicit solution. So, with this uh, we come to the conclusion now. So, we have defined the order and also the degree of the uh, uh, differential equation and also some classification we have done uh, mainly based on these whether the equation is linear or it is a nonlinear equation. We have also seen in this lecture that how to this form a differential equation out of the given of uh, parameter n parameter family of curves. So, there we have to keep on differentiating this uh, n parameter family of curves n times and then from the set of n plus 1 different uh, n plus 1 equations we have to eliminate uh, these parameters and then we will get a relation uh, of the dependent variables independent variables and their derivatives which is the differential equation so what will be uh, actually uh, coming now in the future uh, lectures that how to find the solution of a given differential equation so how to find the solution uh, how to find the family of curves, whether a particular family of curves or the general family of curves of uh, uh, that will be as a solution of the given differential equation. In other words, what we have also discussed here the general uh, solution of uh, nth order differential equation, which contains n arbitrary constant. So, the general solution is nothing but the uh, n parameter family of curves, which satisfies the given differential equation. And these are the references uh, we have used for preparing the lectures and thank you for your attention.